everyone. Which function grows faster? f of x equals e to the power of x, or g of x equals x to the power of 20? We're going to explain using limits. So basically, we're going to take the limits and see if it satisfies condition 1, or condition 2, or condition 3. All right, so basically, we're going to take the limit as x approaches infinity of f of x divided by g of x. So this is going to be e to the power of x divided by x to the power of 20. Now, let's use uh, L'Hopital's rule. And this is going to be the limit as x approaches infinity. Derivative of the numerator is e to the power of x, and the denominator is going to be 20 x to the power of 19. All right, so now let's use L'Hopital's rule again. And that's going to be e to the power of x, and then we're going to have 20 times 19 x to the power of 18. Let's do it one more time. So we're going to get use L'Hopital's rule. e to the x, and then we're going to have 20 times 19 times 18 times x to the 17th, and we're going to do this 17 more times. So 17 more times. And what you're going to get is, um, using L'Hopital's rule, if you do it 17 more times, you're going to get uh, the limit. as x approaches infinity of e to the power of x, and then basically you're just going to get 20 divided by 20 factorial. The x will go away because you'll have uh, e to the power of 0 at some point. So basically this is going to go to infinity because this is a constant and this is going to, uh, the numerator is going to get larger and larger than the denominator. So that means f of x equals uh, e to the x grows faster, it's condition 2, grows faster. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.